All right, what's up, Grass Grind family? This is Chris. GPS. All right, what's up, Grass Grind family? This is Chris, back on the Grass Grind. Uh, today, not too much mowing. Uh, pretty much rain, rain, rain. Um, start off in the morning. Let me turn this down. It uh, started off this morning, and I mean, it was pouring all through last night and this morning. And then we got a little bit of sunshine, so I said, hey, why don't I get out there, see what I can mow? And every lawn that I went to was just soaked. And, um, you know, I, I go by the property, I kind of walk it to make sure. And I know with me being 250, if my foot's sinking in there, I know something that's 1,000 or 1,100 pounds is definitely going to sink. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things. And we have rain coming for the next uh, probably four days straight, maybe five so that we're gonna be way behind. And, but the cool thing is um, the customers, um, properties that I went to, I talked to them and I'm uh, probably, I'm a city over. Uh, so when I left my city, it wasn't raining. The sun started to come out, started to dry up a little bit. So I said, okay, let me get out there. And when I got to the property, that's a little bit outside of my city, um, I called, I told her that's too wet. She totally understood. And then that's when I started calling to cancel the ones in my area. And, uh, they said, well, yeah, it's, it's pouring down right now. So I didn't even know it started raining again. Uh, if you can tell, let me see if I can switch this around. I don't know if you can see those clouds. I mean, the rain is coming and it's it's just been consistent. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, that's what I was saying about making sure that you save your money, you know, for times like this, because, you know, this is a, a week's worth of pay um, that you, you can't do because you can't mow, okay? Yes, it could be caught up, but, you know, even after it rains, it's gonna be so much rain that we even, we're getting flood warnings. Um, so it's still gonna take at least a day or two to dry after it finished raining. So, you know, it's, it's just what it is. Uh, we're gonna try to catch up as soon as we can. And, um, you know, that's, that's what it is with lawn care. Sometimes you can get out there and mow, and sometimes you just gotta, you know, know when to just say okay I need to wait but you know I was at least trying to get out here um, during the day trying to get something done but it just didn't work out that way and um, you know it's what it is but the one thing that I wanted to tell you about and I want you know I want everybody's opinion on it what do you do when you get confronted on a customer's property okay and let, let me explain exactly what happened with this because I've never been in this situation um, I was going to a customer's you know property going to mow now this happened a couple of days ago and you know I'm I get the skag out and I'm like la da 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 about to cut with the skag cut some stripes you know just doing my thing you know and next thing I know I see this guy come up and he was like hey I'm you know me I'm hey how you doing I'm thinking it's a, a client okay or a potential client and he was like you should have been cutting those shrubs and that lady is an old lady and you know you're taking advantage of her and you're doing this and I'm like you know so now in my mind it goes from smiling to you know I have a different demeanor now because now I feel like I'm being approached in the wrong way, okay? So basically, what this guy was arguing about is some shrubs that um, was
was not taken care of, was not cut or anything. But little did he know that the customer, which is, she's an elderly lady, she wanted her grandson to actually take care of that. But see, what happens is, is when people assume, you know, he's coming up and approaching me and trying to accuse me of taking advantage of this lady or, you know, not doing the full job, but little does, does he know that she was going to have the grandson do it because the grandson said he was going to do it, which I totally understood. But in my position, you know, it's a hard position because when you have someone come up to you aggressively, you know, it's hard because you have to maintain, you have to maintain your, you have to be professional, but it's a, it's a hard line of when you need to protect yourself and when, you know, you stay professional. So me and him had words, me and him talked and he was yelling and I was telling him exactly how I felt about the situation. And, you know, basically I was explaining to him like that's, that's not what we were, that's not what we were supposed to do. That's something that our grandson is going to do. So then he got to saying, well, I used to cut this lawn for free and I don't understand why she's paying you guys to do it. And, you know, now at this time, you know, I think the guy was drunk. Okay. But, you know, I think if I was a couple years younger, I, I wouldn't have handled, I know I wouldn't have handled the situation the same way. Okay. So how would you guys and ladies handle a situation where not the customer, but the neighbor, okay? The neighbor comes up to you and they're screaming and they're hollering and they're coming towards you. How do you handle that? Ha has that happened to you? Because that was a first for me, uh, very unexpected. Uh, it was at the end of the day and it was just really unexpected. Man, look at those clouds up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But totally unexpected really didn't know how to you know because in a way as a man it's a way that another man should approach you okay not not unless you know they're they're ready to fight and with us being business owners you know we have to maintain ourselves in a different manner you know we have to make sure we can talk about it do you just ignore them do you argue with them um, I know fighting is not the right answer, but have you guys or ladies had that instance happen where a neighbor or even a customer approaches you in that type of manner? How do you handle that? You know, because that threw me off a little bit. You know, I was having a great day, mowing good, and I had a neighbor that said, hey, you're not uh, trimming these shrubs or different things like that, which... I was told not to do but see he doesn't know that because that's not his property and that's he's a neighbor okay so he's on the outside looking in and doesn't know exactly what me and the customer has discussed which you know makes him look silly but in the same instance he's coming towards me in that type of manner so definitely want to get your opinion on that um you know, leave a comment. Let me know what do you think about that. Has that happened to you, and how did you handle it? But anyway, uh, no mowing today. Boo! I got the trailer loaded up. Um, got the uniform on, but um, it, it's nothing to mow today. Everything is just soggy. Everything is wet, and I'm not gonna get out there and you know, put that mower on there just to, you know, just to get money. It's, you know, I'll, I'll rather wait until it dries up and contact my customers. I think that's the, the best thing to do is to, and the, the customers pretty much know, but it's good for them to hear your voice and let them know, hey, unfortunately I won't be able to mow. Um, as we know, it's raining and go from there. Oh man, is it raining now? 
Yeah, it's starting to, starting to sprinkle as we speak. But it's weird, it's 80 degrees, it's nice and hot, the sun has came out for a little bit, but you know, it's what it is, okay? So, I'm about to get off of here and uh, put this equipment up. Man, it's really starting to come down, look at this. Wow. That is crazy. Coming Press you connect All phone right, button to answer. All right, sorry about that, I had a customer call, but as you can see, clouds, clouds, rain, clouds, thunderstorms, clouds, and I still gotta put all this equipment up. So, you know, this just goes to show every day in lawn care is not just a beautiful, sunshiny day. You're gonna have days, you're gonna have weeks where you can't get anything done and it is out of your control. All you can do is wait till the rain stops and kind of go from there so uh as i said i'm about to get off here get this equipment in and um we shall see so anyway this is chris on the grass grind always invest in yourself and keep grinding okay every day should i say yeah yeah <laughs> so does anybody want to put this equipment up for me because <laughs> I am stuck in the rain. But, alright. <laughs> I'm out. Man, look at that. Uh, I love long hair.